Assalamualaikum friends. In this video, we will discuss about plant systematics, its aims, objective, and importance. So let's start the video. So the word systematic has been derived from Latin word systema, and systematic is the systematic arrangement of the organisms. And the word systematic has been proposed by Carolus Linnaeus in his book Systema Natura in 1735. So systematic is branch of biology that deal with taxonomy and establish evolutionary relationship between organisms so what is the difference between taxonomy and systematic so taxonomy is a greek word whereas systematic is a latin word the word taxonomy has been given by ap d candol whereas systematic is given by carolus linnaeus taxonomy deals with characterization identification nomenclature and classification of organisms whereas systematic deals all the characteristics of taxonomy plus phylogeny and phylogeny is evolutionary relationship of organisms so taxonomy involved in determination of evolutionary relationship of organisms that are related to one another whereas there is no evolutionary record can be determined uh, with the help of taxonomy so with the help of pictorial uh, representation you can learn about the taxonomy taxonomy is characterization of the organism then identification of organism and after uh, identification there is nomenclature and in the last classification of organism into different classes or groups and systematic is all the characteristic that has been discussed in taxonomy plus one that is affinity and affinity is evolution relationship among organisms so systematic is a broader term that includes not only morphology but also anatomy physiology molecular biology geographical behavioral aspect and evolutionary biology now we will discuss about the aims and objective of systematics so the primary aim of systematic is to develop affinities among plants plants kitni jo unse similarities hain aapas mein aur kitne unme differences hain unki base pe hum plants ko classify karte hain for example gymnosperm and angiosperms are arranged very close to each other दोनों जो उनसे हैं वेस्कुलर प्लांट हैं जिम्नोस्पम्स और एनजियोस्पम और दोनों फनेरोगेम्स हैं तो इसलिए आपस में क्लोजली रिलेटेड है सो सिस्टमेटिक जो उनसे वो हेल्प करती है डिस्क्राइब ऑल स्पीशीज ऑन अर्थ इन द लास्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सिस्टमेटिक सो प्लांट सिस्टमेटिक हैज ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस एज इट लिंक टू एवरी ब्रांच ऑफ बॉटनी इट इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब डिफरेंट स्पीशीज इट इज यूज टू गिव साइंटिफिक नेम टू प्लांट और टेक्सोनोमिक ग्रुप्स it develops evolution relationship among different groups of plants it help in providing information about geographical distribution of plants in different regions of world it also provide information about patterns of geological changes it also provide information of comparison of different groups of plant hum comparison kar sakte hain plants ke darmiyan ke kon kon si characteristics unki aapas mein common hai jo is wajah se wo closely related honge aur kon si characteristic unme common nahi hai jiski wajah se unko ek group mein nahi rakha ja sakta it also provide basis of genetics have the great importance in agriculture and herbal medicines or to identify or discover new uh, medicine new herbal medicines or new herbal plants so if you like the video it is helpful for you then please like or subscribe this video thanks